Utah's most accurate forecast with Alana Brophy, weather rates certified 11 years in a row. Checking back in on your pinpoint weather forecast, Alana, happy Earth Day to you. We're wrapping up a bit of a stormy few days. Yes, we love wet weather and it moved in to close out our work week, Sarah, and we had a few lingering showers out there. That includes in the high country live view at Alta, where yes, a few isolated snow showers are up there, and that's because of our northwest flow. Now, when we look at the mountains, we have to talk about that snowpack. Flooding concerns top of mind because we're losing that snowpack 26.5 inches when it comes to our Hi. snow water equivalent. So that's going to continue to melt as we get through the next several weeks. But look at that number. It's still above the record year of 83. So a lot of water to come down from the high country and our warming trend will help with that. We do have some moisture out there, but clouds in Salt Lake City sitting at 50 degrees. Usually this time of year, 63 is our daytime high. We are not dealing with much in the way of wind, so pleasant conditions exist. Okay, we'll take that in Salt Lake. A few showers, spotty showers up in Cache Valley. Northwesterly flow very noticeable with the clouds over over in the basin into central Utah and along the Wasatch Front. Clear skies in the southern half of the state with some beautiful temperatures down there in St. George. As we look at the storm tracker radar, it's sweeping the region in and around Bear Lake. We're getting some shower activity, few clusters over Tooele, but all in all quieting down just a little bit unsettled today in northern Utah for our Earth Day, but that's going to change as we roll into tomorrow. An active pattern, though, holds steady as we get through the next couple of days. Soak in that sunshine in southern Utah. Red just popping 75 degrees that is just a beautiful shot I know I should get in the car and start driving it's that nice down there and the warming trend will continue but tomorrow they start to get the chance of some moisture in Washington County 40s and 50s out there right now 60s in Moab 70s in St. George we are running below average so we're cooler following the cold front that came through but as we look at the 24-hour temperature change, we're on the up and up. We're warmer in Salt Lake than where we were yesterday, so that warming trend's still underway. Same in St. George, but you can see some areas tapping into that cooler air with that northwesterly flow for the first time today. Temperatures, well, I hope you buckled your seatbelt because we're going to ride the roller coaster just a little bit. We dip. Peaks and valleys as a storm system will impact us for the start of the work week in northern Utah. Drier conditions in the south for the work week, but not tomorrow. Let me show you what I mean. Futurecast takes us through. We've got clouds out there by tonight. High pressure setting up. It doesn't get to stay. Here's a weak wave that starts to come in. By tomorrow afternoon, south central Utah sees the chance of wet weather, and that's from Nephi down to Richfield. That'll cross I-15 towards I-70. Milford, Delta, you could see some wet weather. So could Cedar City. And that extends down to St. George, so the chance of some wet weather in the southwest desert, it's there by tomorrow night. So that moisture moves in, and it's really going to impact the southern half of the state. Eventually it will clear, but the main system starts to come through and we get showers. There we go Monday afternoon. They hold on through Monday evening. Tuesday also looks showery, so that wet weather keeps us unsettled. 50s and 60s for those daytime highs tomorrow, warmer than where we are today. 70s in Bluff, 80 in St. George. Going for the warmth, but don't rule out a thunderstorm. Potential is there as that wave will provide some lift. St. George seven day showing that chance of a storm for tomorrow and then drier conditions with winds whipping for the beginning of the work week and temperatures cooling into the 70s. Here's the Wasatch Front. 60s on deck. Showers cool us to the 50s on Tuesday, dropping below average and then warming back up with drier conditions setting up for the middle of the work week. So a little bit of everything. We love a smorgasbord and that's exactly what we're going to see in northern Utah for the next couple of days. Sarah, over to you. All right. Thank you, Alana. We were just so excited.